our fun, wonderful officials once again from the USA, Evan Berg, and from Mongolia. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Do you smell it? No, I'm serious. Do you smell it? Do you smell the sweet smell of opportunity? Opportunity for Chile to knock France out of the tournament and join the quarterfinals party. You know what they need for that? They need a win. Pretty simple deal, isn't it? Well, not really, though. Because Egypt is a solid squad. Egypt got talent and he's tough. And Egypt is proud. They're not going to just let Chile get their way. And El Fiki does not get the whistle. Four seconds left, and it's going to be uh, Habiba Mohammed who takes it right in time. Turn around right in the grill of her opponent. Enriquez turns it over. So Egypt trying to get its second win in group action. And if you're France, you're hoping really, really bad that uh, Egypt beats Chile. Let me tell you that. They're going to become a big Egypt supporter in this game. Because if Egypt wins as uh, El Fiki gives a two-point lead to the Egyptian ladies, now you're setting uh, the table up for a three-way tie. And with a three-way tie, you're more than likely going to get the bid, even though the scoring was not up to par against Netherlands. I'm going to give you the, the actual aggregate as it stands right now before the last game for Uganda and France in a pool D action on the women's side. France has an aggregate of 44 points. Egypt has an aggregate of 40. And uh, Chile has an aggregate of 39. Oh, Ojeda. Ties things up. Yara Hussein draws the foul on, o on Ojeda. So now the three-way tie is much closer than what I would have expected it to be in case of a three-way tie. France was way ahead of the competition scoring-wise after the first two games. Yara Hussein knocks it down, but not matching up on the free throw usually gets you in trouble. Egypt lucky, but not that lucky as uh, Orego draws a foul with the, the opportunity now with this free throw to tie things to three apiece. France had won 21-11 against Egypt. And obviously they got upset by Chile 16-14. But it's not about what the roster says on paper. It's about what you're going to do with the talent God gave you. A Fiki. Tough. Enriquez, long range. Off target. Salahuddin. Doesn't get the M1 to drop. And that's unfortunate. Egypt. 
anxious to extend here. And she misses. El Fiki. Fighting for possession of that rock. Ball given back to Chile. Orego turns it over. Mismatch City. Yara Hussain misses what she's more than capable of getting done. You gotta finish your breakfast down low. And when you got a mismatch like this, you can't spoil it. Orego gets no love. Mohamed, Mohamed. Well defended by Ojeda. Orego. Not enough protein. We're getting close to the first TV timeout. And uh, Salah Dean, Salah Dean drawing the foul. It's going to be the third team foul against Chile. And uh, she's going to have some time to uh, recover from that fall with the first TV timeout. Ramirez gave it up to Enriquez. Enriquez gets blocked. A little bit less than five seconds left on the shot clock. Get up. Try to sneak one past. Yara Hussein not happening. El Fiki at the driving lane. So taking the ball at the top. We had some shot clock issue. Yara Hussein, top of the key. Long range, no. Where to fight? Ingesal Aildin hustling, earning possession back. Yara Hussein all the way. 6 2. The Egyptian ladies helping out Francis Case right now. Let me tell you that. Chile would waste a unique opportunity if they lose against Egypt right now. Mohammed, Mohammed. Gotta love it. Habiba doing a great job. She's been really efficient with that spin and finished with the left hand. Five point lead. Uh oh, overplaying. Defensively, 
putting putting a on ball pressure to uh, make life hard on the opponent to clear is great great idea but orego right here overdoes it as yara hussein starts clearing you got to recover and get back under if you don't then you open up a, a layup lane mismatch yara hussein doing a great job capitalizing on her size advantage in the paint chile head on the water and ramirez gets no love is the ball choosing her camp i don't know Elfiki iso mode she pulls back no lift Enriquez gives it up. Ramirez, nice touch on the glass. Mohamed this time, it's not gonna work out. Orego at the top. That's going to be a travel. Salahuddin moving screen from El Fiki. Rejection. Oh, big bucket. The two pointer. Get up. Keeps the hopes up. Oh, mismatch city. Barbecue chicken. El Fiki. Orego was trying to sell that, not happening. El Fiki, too tough down low. Orego, a little bit short. Gonna be the 15th foul against Chile. to go for another one. No. And Yara Hussein draws the 16th foul against Chile. Speed. 
she does so successfully against Yara Hussein. Habiba Mohamed, the nice jab. She kind of lost her footing, but El Fiki going once. El Fiki denied. Nice to lead the action, Enriquez. Can't quite put it off, though. Salah Dean, two lady action. Good job, El Fiki gets the bucket. Five point lead. France watching upon this game with hopes. That's going to be a foul, though. 14 foul against Egypt. Salah Dean outmatched physically. Okay, up with one free throw. Ojeda misses. Good hustle by Enriquez. Ojeda tries to Euro step her way to a space where the Euro stepping was not allowed. El Fiki with four. Hussein with four. Ojeda with four points. Orego will travel. Mohamed, ooh, nice jab. The good recovery by Ojeda Hussein will not get the offensive board. Mismatch City, great hustle by Salayadeen. But I think she got needed in the nose. Accidentally, obviously. We'll see that again right here. Oh, I don't think it was a knee. It wasn't a knee, but. Can we see the replay again? Is it possible? Well, they're going to watch it, but nothing went on there. They're going to check it. All they're going to see is uh, Salah Eldin, who uh, played three quarters and uh, deflected that rock, but no matter what, it was completely accidental. Two minutes and 17 seconds left. Thank you for the replay. I don't really see it. Like, at what point did she get hit in the nose? How did she get hit in the nose? Coca-Cola, take your care of each and every one of you. Let's 
So red ball, Salah Eldin will stay on the sideline. Chile trailing El Fiki keeps up with the good work. Six point lead. Ramirez kicks it out. Enriquez, nice pass. Ojeda. It's not going to get fouled by Fiki. And Mohamed. Not a great shot selection here. Five points. El Fiki. Hustling Ojeda. Needs to capitalize. And El Fiki. That was a rejection so strong it applied for a restraining order. Man. Nice pass, but they did not clear. Unfortunately, he got to kick the ball out. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Six point lead, commanding six point lead. Orega kicks it out, Enriquez knocks it down. It's not over, it is not over. Mohamed, baseline. Mohamed could have kicked it out to Salah el -Din, and she did not. And Enriquez steals it away. Ojeda. Needs to make that. So Enriquez calls for the timeout. She understands the assignment. Four point lead for Egypt means we need to get a bucket and if we could preferably find a way to knock down a two, well, let's do that. Nice execution. Ramirez by herself. The defense confused. Mohamed sees the ball deflected. So Chile earns possession back, but it might be too little too late. 15 seconds. Chile has foul trouble looming over its head, so no matter what, if they commit a foul to stop the clock, if they score quick, that's going to be a pair of free throws for Egypt. Egypt has total control of this game. Obviously, you don't want to foul a two-point shooter. And this game is over. Seven seconds left. Chile missed out on the opportunity to go to the quarterfinals. Salaidin all the way to the cup. Gets the bucket. Egypt wins, evens up its record. Two wins and two losses.